Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to give you guys a complete overview of the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificates offered by Coursera and Google. So in this video, we'll go over the entire program and we'll talk about what to expect and exactly what you're expected to learn. We'll also go over the entire cost for taking this program. And then lastly, we'll go over whether or not I think this program is worth taking for you. Now, as you guys know, I've been reviewing so many different Coursera programs in the past on this channel. And as soon as Coursera released this Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, I was so excited to go ahead and get started and give you guys my full breakdown. Now, as some of you may know, I'm a cybersecurity associate at a Fortune 100 company. And I want to go ahead and give you guys my breakdown of this program and whether or not I think it's worth taking. With that being said, though, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below that'll take you directly to the Coursera webpage for this program if you want to go ahead and check it out. So the program itself is hosted on Coursera and it's completely beginner friendly. So you don't need to have any prior knowledge in terms of technology, IT, or cybersecurity background. So this program is going to be geared towards people who have no prior experience. Um, if you're someone who is working in a different industry and wants to make that transition into cybersecurity, or if you're a student in college or in high school, this program is going to be perfect for you. I know a lot of you guys are working full-time, part-time, or even full-time school. So it's important to have a program that's able to really uh, function around your own schedule. On the Coursera website, it says that this program will take around six months to complete if you study for seven hours per week. So this leads me into the cost for taking this program. So the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificates is based on a monthly subscription model. So it depends on how long you take to complete the entire course. And that's going to dictate exactly how much you'll end up paying. So the program costs $49 dollars per month to take so if you finish the program in one month you only pay 49 dollars for the entire program if you finish the program in six months you'll pay around 300 dollars so it just depends on how long you take to complete the entire program one other main point that I want to discuss in this video is the fact that the school cybersecurity professional certificates is also geared towards preparing you for the security plus exam. I know a lot of you guys who are looking to get into cybersecurity, security plus is pretty much the pinnacle of entry level certifications to get yourself inside of the industry. I think it's also important to mention that if you're someone who has no prior background in cybersecurity, if you go straight into the security plus, it can sort of be overwhelming and intimidating to take because there's so many different concepts that the Security Plus covers. And starting off with a certification like the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificates is probably a perfect way for you to branch into cybersecurity, learn the basic fundamentals, and then branch into more advanced certifications like the Security Plus exam. All right, you guys, welcome to the inside of my computer. The certification itself is comprised of eight different courses that go over several different cybersecurity topics. Uh, course number one is called Foundations of Cybersecurity. It pretty much gives you a brief overview of exactly what it's like to be a cybersecurity analyst, what they do, and why they do it. Uh, course number two is called Manage Cybersecurity Risks. Um, this is pretty much going over potential threats, um, risks, and how it impacts business operations um, and exactly how to prevent these from happening. Uh, course number three is called Networks and Network Security. This is going to be a huge one because a lot of these um, sort of questions are going to be answered um, also on the Security Plus exam as well. Um, so network is going to be a huge, huge part of this course. It's going to give you a brief understanding of exactly how networking works, how data is transferred from one uh, node to another, um, and exactly how networks are protected, like things like uh, firewalls um, and things of that nature. Course number four is called Tools of the Trade, Linux, and SQL. Um, this is pretty much teaching you guys exactly how to use Linux and SQL. Um, SQL is used to pretty much uh, extract data from a database, and Linux is used in sort of like a command line uh, interface as well. So you'll learn how to use those two different uh, tools right there. Um, course number five is called Assets, Threats, and Vulnerabilities. This is pretty much going over uh, sort of on a business aspect of exactly what assets are considered, how they're protected from uh, different threats, and exactly how to mitigate vulnerabilities and prevent them from being exploited. Course number six is called detection and response. Um, so maybe if a breach is, is actually occurring, how to respond to that breach, how to minimize impact, um, and exactly how to detect um, certain things uh, from, from happening or, or from occurring. Um, this is used with you know IDS's intrusion detection systems um, and network intrusion detection, detection systems as well and also with the SIEM as well. So that's gonna be a really interesting uh, course as well. Uh, course number seven is called Automate Cybersecurity Tasks with Python. 
this is pretty much self-explanatory, um, but it's going to be a huge part of the uh, certification as well. Um, Python is just the language that's used to pretty much automate certain tasks um, that will be useful uh, in a cybersecurity environment um, that you will definitely need to know if you become a cybersecurity analyst or a SOC analyst. Course number eight is the last course, which is uh, prepare for cybersecurity jobs. After taking this course, um, they'll give you pretty much a, a rundown of exactly what you need to do to optimize your resume, to prepare for job interviews, and start applying for cybersecurity jobs. All right, you guys, so I also want to give you guys a brief overview of what it's like to actually be inside of the course. So right now I have course one pulled up on my computer right over here. Um, so each of these courses are broken down into four different weeks. And within each of these weeks, there's going to be a lot of different uh, readings and videos that you'll have to complete. So on this left side right over here, you can see the grades, notes, discussion forums, messages, and these different tabs right over here. Uh, this grade section is pretty much for uh, the different practice uh, quizzes and the actual quiz that you take um, at the end of the uh, the uh, each of these modules. Um, so on top of that, though, too, you can take different notes while you're watching the videos or the readings, and they'll show up right over here. Uh, these discussion forums are for the actual discussion prompts that you'll talk to uh, with other classmates, as well as the messaging tab as well. As well. Um, so for example, if we go ahead and just click on uh, the first video right over here, you'll see the video pulls up right away. Um, you'll see that there's different uh, speakers um, and different graphics that make it more engaging to start learning. Um, on top of that, if you get bored of the video, there's also a transcript at the bottom right over here that you can use to follow along that way as well. Um, but that is pretty much uh, sort of the, the meat and potatoes of the inside of this course. Um, each of these different courses are going to be uh, similar to this right over here. Practice quizzes, quizzes, uh, discussion forums, um, and things of that nature uh, will be really helpful in terms of uh, helping you guys learn uh, quickly and efficiently. So that is pretty much it for the program itself. Just to give you guys a rundown of exactly what to expect from this program, you'll be able to have the skills that you need to be able to perform in an entry-level cybersecurity position, including skills like Python, SQL, command line interface, um, security event monitoring systems, and much more. These are going to be some important fundamental skills to have in order to perform in an entry-level cybersecurity analyst position. One other point that I want to reiterate is the fact that this program will prepare you for the Security Plus exam. So the fact that this program is completely beginner-friendly and also prepares you for the Security Plus exam, which is a certification that is valued throughout the entire industry, I think that in itself is a huge benefit for taking this program. Now, just to give you guys my complete opinion on the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, I think this certification is going to be a perfect place to start if you're new to cybersecurity and have no prior knowledge. I honestly wish that this program was available when I first started learning about cybersecurity so I can use this to really learn the fundamentals of cybersecurity and then branch into more advanced certifications like the Security Plus, uh, the Network Plus, and the A Plus. So overall, I think this program will provide you with so much value and help you kickstart your cybersecurity career in the right direction. One other benefit that I see this program having is also an opportunity for you to complete it and end up adding it to your resume, your LinkedIn, and use it as a way for you to get some new opportunities in cybersecurity. With that being said though guys, I'll leave a link in the description below that'll take you directly to the Coursera webpage to start taking this course today. And with that being said though guys, thank you so much for watching and make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity related content. With that being said though guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.